We're thinking about a ghost town right now. A town called Jerusalem. The stores are closed. The shops, many of the hotels, the restaurants. The children are not in school. They're not going to and from school. The schools are closed. This is usually the bustling capital of Israel, but the tourists, the pilgrims, the bars, the, the, you, they're nowhere to be seen. I'm talking about the neighborhoods that are usually full of life. The city was targeted by Hamas rockets starting last Shabbos. And downtown Jerusalem is like a ghost town. And this is why we have to pray this psalm tonight, Psalm 62. For the sake of Zion will I not hold my peace. And for the sake of Jerusalem I will not remain quiet until her Zedek go forth like no God, brightness, and her Yeshua, her salvation, Yeshua, like a blazing, like a blazing torch. Psalm 62, the prophets have to pray. Now, we have an organization called Artists for Israel, and our mission is uh, tied up with biblical Judaism. And you might say, well, we don't believe that. We know what Judaism is, and your religion is an alternative and a different religion. My friend, 120 Orthodox Jews stood up in Jerusalem on Shavuos and declared that they personally had already seen the first man alive from the grave. And it happened in a town that was not a ghost town, but it was this very same Jerusalem. And they were known as a sect of Judaism. And that is what was inscripturated. You will never find the word C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N-I-T-Y anywhere in the Brit Hadashah. It does not project an alternative religion. This is the fulfillment of Judaism. This one that they were preaching was the Kohen Gadol, the Navi, the Goal Redeemer the Ribi Melek HaMoshiach. And the Orthodox Jewish Bible is Orthodox. It is Jewish. It is a Bible. And it is what our organization, a Bible society in New York City, was founded to translate and propagate. Now, in a law, as we go along doing that, we're reaching Muslims and everybody else. But remember, there was a very famous council in Jerusalem. And in that very famous council, the core was a Orthodox Jewish community, the hard center of the faith. It was held around AD 49 or, or, or a CE. 49, the delegates at the council included Rav Shaul Barnabas from Antioch of Syria and that Kehillah. Then there were delegates from the congregation, the Kehillah at Jerusalem. And this was a Messianic synagogue. And they had to settle a dispute having to do with uh, the converts, uh, would they have to be circumcised? 
and uh, keep the law, all 613 mitzvahs, Acts chapter 15, verses 1 to 29, in order to be saved, because certain men came down from Judea and taught the brethren, unless you are circumcised according to Mo Moshe Rabbeinu, you cannot be saved, Acts 15, 1. And they insisted that these non-Jews could not be received unless they were uh, given the bris milah and brought under the 613 mitzvahs. But the Shaliach, Rav Shaul, stood up and gave a contrary opinion. And the conclusion of the council was that the non-Jews did not have to be circumcised. Uh, we believe that through the grace of Moshiach, Ribi Melech HaMoshiach Adonainu, we, that is we Jews, shall be saved in the same manner as they, the non-Jews. Acts chapter 15, verse 11. We are not saved by keeping the law. As a matter of fact, the law brings a curse. Curses everyone who's hanged on a tree. He took the curse for us uh, so that we might be delivered from the curse. And this is, was an important decision. It meant that although the mother congregation was a practicing Torah observant Messianic synagogue, that there could still be a mission to the world and to the non-Jews that would be ongoing out of that. Uh, because if 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 uh, Rav Shaul does his entire ministry reaching out to the non-Jews, but then comes to Jerusalem at the end before he's incarcerated and uh, has to appeal to Caesar for Nero, and then eventually, of course, is, is martyred uh, in Rome by Nero. But when he uh, finishes his mission, the Shalikas mission, uh, what happens? He's enfolded back into the Messianic synagogue community and into the Beis HaMikdash in Jerusalem. And that whole thing that happens in Acts 21 in the book of Acts is very, very important because it shows that Judaism is still Judaism. We're talking about biblical Judaism. The truth of the gospel is not being compromised. The salvation is by grace through faith in the Messiah. It is not based on boasting in mitzvahs, which means that the Jews have to be saved the same way. However, because they are Jews and because of the Sinai covenant, because they are raising their children as Jews so that the Jews will not assimilate, so that Judaism uh, can uh, preserve the people of God until the, the Savior returns so that there will still be Jews on the earth when he returns. This, uh, this wonderful thing happens. This council in Jerusalem, and Psalm 62 is all about Jerusalem. The ghost town uh, under Hamas uh, shelling right now. And uh, when you look at this, uh, this, God, this, this wonderful chapter shows that there's a name change because at the very first chapter of uh, Yeshia or Isaiah, uh, Jerusalem has become like a a harlot, a city of murderers. But now she gets a name change. She becomes 
she's called Hepzibah, and also Beulah. The word Beulah means married. When I was a child, my mother modeled for me what a believer is supposed to be. If there was anybody that was rejected, poor, down and out in our city, any child that was too dirty, any person that was uh, a, a pariah, they were sitting right there at our table. My mother had a boarding house uh, and college students from Oakland City University, which at that time was Oakland City College, were living with us. But I was watching this as a child. There was a girl who was an unmarried, pregnant teenager. And her boyfriend was so guilty about it that he would try to beat me up at school because he knew my mother was helping her. He, my mother gave her a job and she sat right there at our table and her name was Beulah. And it's taken right out of the Bible, but ironically the word Beulah means married and she wasn't. She was an unwed teenage pregnant girl, somewhat like the Moshiach's uh, mother. Uh, but in her case, it was because of fornication. In the case of Miriam Bat Dovid, it was because of the miracle that the Bar Enosh came from the glory clouds and took on flesh in the Virgin of Ha Alma as a sign to the house of Dovid, a royal Alma. If you go to afii.org forward slash capital O, capital J, capital B dot PDF and look at the introduction, you will see a whole exegesis of the word Alma, and you will see this. But this, uh, this psalm should be prayed at this time, Psalm 62, for Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until, until God does something. And we need God to do something now for Jerusalem, for Zion. You know, when it was the city of the Jebusites and David had to take it, the stronghold was called Zion. But that word, Zion, becomes to be the word for not just the fortress, uh, but the whole city, the whole holy land, and the whole redeemed people of God. Zion, and there was a girl in Zion, Illinois. Her name was Marie Burgess Brown. And she was a, a girl who was very sick. She had tuberculosis. She was healed at a Pentecostal healing. And she, she knew Charles F. Parham. So she had that connection with Azusa Street and with uh, William Seymour through Parham. But she was in Zion, Illinois. And the Lord uh, filled her with the Holy Spirit and gave her a vision from Zion, Illinois. She was a pioneer, the founder of Glad Tidings Tabernacle in New York City. And out of that came a, 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 a various mega congregations like the Korean congregation and Times Square congregation and David Wilkerson. Uh, you should look at the video, uh, David Wilkerson Exorcist, about an exorcism that I observed personally. I was there watching uh, in the room as he cast out a demon. Uh, all of these great ministries came, and uh, how did they come? Uh, the Lord used a woman. Now, all of you out there who don't believe in lady preachers, well, you have a big problem because uh, one of the biggest uh, 
ministries to ever hit New York came with a lowly woman named Marie Brown, uh, Burgess Brown. And uh, I thank God uh, for the prayer time at that altar. And some of the remnant of that altar are with us tonight. People who also prayed at that altar. And we are having a uh, nightly uh, a prayer vigil. Tonight we're praying for Jerusalem. And why are we why are we doing this? Because we have a responsibility. Uh, in the same way that Marie left uh, Zion, Illinois, and uh, came to New York City, and Smith Wigglesworth, Amy Simple McPherson, Catherine Coleman, all these people preached in, in uh, the Glad Tidings, a radio program, people... Uh, came there from all over. It was almost like a Zusa Street. It grew and grew. And uh, uh, hallelujah, we thank God for the move of God. We are asking God to move again, to do, to do it again, what he did before, to do it in Israel. That, that with this war going on, uh, Jewish people will... Uh, open the scriptures. Uh, now, I, I'm going to be uh, going through all the ultra-Orthodox areas, and I'm going to be sprinkling the seed. Uh, where It's a little different. This is a digital Bible distribution rather than a printed Bible. But nevertheless, I'm going to be doing it, and God uh, is going to help me. And somehow or another, this these the seed is going to be sprinkled all over Israel, and, and and who knows? God might even send one of us to Israel with fifty thousand uh, of these uh, little seeds, little two cent digital seeds. Uh, God is able when we get on our face and we cry out to God. God begins to show us His vision. Without a vision, the people perish. We may feel like we're broke, we're sick, we're weak, we're old, we're 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 washed up, but that's 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 the kind of person God can use because when something great happens, people have to look back and say, you know, God did that. It wasn't them. They were washed up, sick, old, uh, uh, broke, uh, weak. They couldn't do anything. But, but God did it. My friend, I want you to know that Judaism is not what you think it is. The sect of Judaism that's alive and well is a spirit-filled manifestation that's, that is absolutely turning the world upside down with women preachers. Yes, I'm sorry. Do you remember the four virgins? They were daughters of Philippos, the Mivaser. Remember, they stayed there on their way to Jerusalem. Those girls were prophetesses. Nobody would have stood up and said, I'm sorry, you cannot prophesy, you're a woman. That, that kind of heresy came later. That's not, that's not scriptural. And, and I want you to know that uh, the, the, the sect of Judaism called Haderic, is not an alternative religion. It is a continuation and a culmination. It is the Judaism of salvation. It's We're talking about the covenant between God and Abraham to bless all the peoples of the world, Genesis 12, 3, to bless all the nations. Uh, the Ben Dovid who would reign forever, uh, Shmuel, base. Samuel, 2 Samuel 7, verses 12 to 13. We're talking about the suffering uh, servant who would die for the sins of the people. Kenik's army, Eretz Haimi, Pesha, me. That's part of my Judaism. Uh, that is uh, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 8. 
that's that should be in the prayer book. Uh, what kind of Judaism do you have to leave a verse like that out of the prayer book? We're not talking about some kind of uh, man-manufactured Judaism. We're talking about the holy Judaism of holy scriptures. And it is blooming like a flower. The fig tree is blossoming. And believers know that it was in Jerusalem that the great fulfillment of Judaism occurred. The Tehiyas Hamasim, the resurrection of the dead, that was inaugurated with the Brit Hadashah, uh, Yirmiyahu, chapter 31, verses 31 to 34, based on Hesed. Oh, we thank you. And Selichos, rather than uh, Torah and Mitzvahs, believers are the spiritual heirs of Abraham and uh, the Israel of God, the Messianic Jews who are saved and redeemed and who are going to the new Jerusalem coming down from heaven, uh, they are the hardcore center of Judaism. Uh, but they also are in charge of a mission to the whole world. And this is the glory of the Judaism of the scriptures. And my friend, you have to understand that we're talking about the Tariyas Hamasim. This is what Judaism is all about. This is what Judaism promised, the resurrection of the dead. And right now, I, I want to pray for Jerusalem. I, I want to take out the Orthodox Jewish Bible here. And I want to pray for Jerusalem. And I, I want to ask you to help us. Who is sufficient for these things? We need God's help. On Tuesday, I'm going to get 50,000 little two-cent seeds. They are little digital Bible seeds. They cost two pennies a piece. When I was checked in by the Holy Spirit, by the, by the Lord, by the risen Lord, uh, Adonainu, Morenu, Moshienu, uh, Ribi Melech HaMoshiach, into the Wishing Well Motel, I had 23 cents. With those 23 cents, which is 23 pennies, I could have purchased maybe 10 of these little digital Bibles. And I could have put those 10 in Borough Park, Williamsburg, Crown Heights, uh, Curious Joel, Joel, New Square, uh, and all the different uh, Hasidic areas of New York and upper New York State. I could have done that. But now on Tuesday, I'm getting 50,000 of them. And don't tell me that the Lord can't give me a plane ticket uh, to Tel Aviv to throw those all over Israel. Is there anything impossible with God? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to do that necessarily, but I'm saying that's the kind of thing God can pull out of his hat. When I was a child, I went downtown Oakland City, Indiana. There was a magician. He pulled a rabbit out of his hat. I was astounded. I was three years old. I was astounded. God could pull some rabbits out of his hat, my friend. And he's going to do it for the one directing according to Yedutun. Mees more of Dovid. Truly, my nephesh waiteth silently. Hallelujah. Upon Elo Elohim, hallelujah, praise God. And right now my nephesh is waiting. Thank you, Lord. My nephesh is crying out. My my heart is crying out for 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 Israel, for Jerusalem. And we will not give you rest 
until you make Jerusalem a praise on the earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We want to thank you, Father, for your ancient Jewish people. We want to thank you for the children of Abraham who gave us the scriptures and from whom came the Moshiach ben Dovid and Haye Olam, even the Tehiyas HaMasim, the resurrection of the dead. And I want to thank you, Lord, that you help us, that nothing is impossible for you. And I want to pray, dear God, I want to pray, dear God, for an Azusa Street revival. I want to pray for the ministry of Marie Burgess Brown, that it will not be uh, extinguished, that there's still three brands plucked from the burning here tonight. Uh, uh, three, three people, actually four, uh, who knew the the joyful sound of prayer at the Mizbeach, uh on Monday night at uh, Riot Tidings Tabernacle, 325 West 33rd Street. Hallelujah. And we want to thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For the deliverance that you give us. Hallelujah. We want to thank you, Lord, for the fact that nothing is impossible for you. That uh, that nothing is impossible for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And Lord, I want to pray right now for the mighty baptism in the Holy Spirit. That everyone here will be filled with the Holy Spirit that your young men will dream dreams hallelujah that your old men uh that that the the women will prophesy hallelujah and that that a revival will break out hallelujah that god is able that praise is awaiting you O god in zion and to you the vow shall be performed O oh, you who hear prayer to you, all flesh will come. Hallelujah. So we're praying tonight, Lord, for uh, Jerusalem. We're praying. We will not give you peace, Lord, until you make Jerusalem a praise on the earth. Hallelujah. And uh, Lord, we want to ask tonight that you would hear our cry. Lead us to the rock that's higher than I. Hallelujah. The strong tower that you are, Lord. We pray for Zion. We pray for that Jebusite stronghold that David took. Oh, hallelujah. We pray for our rock, our salvation. Moshiach ben Dovid. Uh, we know, Lord, that there is opp oppression in Israel. We know that there's no peace, uh, but we are seeking you, Lord. We're crying out to you in this prayer meeting. We're remembering you on our bed in the evening, in the night watches. We're meditating on you. We're crying out to you, Lord, and we know that you will help us. Oh, yes, you will help us. And Lord, we cry out right now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for Jerusalem. And we cry out right now for that ghost town that you will make it a praise on the earth. And we cry out right now, Lord, for the Messianic Jews in Jerusalem. And we cry out right now that that uh, uh, Isaiah uh, chapter 62 uh, and I'm going to read this from the Orthodox Jewish Bible because it is a prayer and it has to do with Messianic Judaism. And it says that this 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 harlot, Jerusalem, uh, she's called a harlot in chapter one, is being given a new name. Uh, and I think of Beulah, that, that 
teenage girl when I was a little child. She's given the name Beulah. For the sake of Zion, will I not hold my peace? And for the sake of Jerusalem, I'm reading from Psalm 62 in the Orthodox Jewish Bible. For the sake of Yerushalayim, I will not remain quiet until her tzedek go forth like noga, brightness, and her Yeshua, her salvation, like a blazing torch. And the goyim shall see thy tzedek and kol melachim, thy kavod, and thou shalt be called by a shem hadash, which the mouth of Hashem shall designate. Thou shalt also be an a teret to ferret in the Yad Hashem and a Zanif Melukha, Melukha, a royal turban, a diadem in the palm of thy God. O oh, of thee it shall no more be said, Azuva forsaken. Neither of thy land shall any more be said, Shemameh, desolate, but thou shalt be called Hepzibah. My delight is in her, and thy land, Beulah, married. For Hashem delighteth in thee, and thy land shall be married. For as a boker marrieth, married a, marries a batula. So shall thy banim marry thee, and as the hosen rejoices over the kala, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. I have set Shomrim, the Shomrim who chased me out of neighborhoods when I'm trying to distribute Bibles. Well, there's a different type of Shomrim. They don't chase out the Mivaser. It's talking about prophets here. I have set Shomrim upon thy homot, thy walls, O Yerushalayim, which shall never hold their peace, Yom nor Laila. Ye that remind Hashem, keep not silence. That means we can't be silent. We have to have our prayer meeting tonight. We can't give God peace until he makes Yerushalayim, I praise on the earth and give him no rest. Verse 7, I'm looking at Yeshaya uh, chapter 62, Isaiah 62, verse 7. And give him no rest until he establish and until he make Yerushalayim a tehillah, a praise in Haaretz. Hashem has sworn by his yamin, by his right hand, and by the Zoroah, the arm of his O's, his might, surely I will, I will no more give thy Dagon, thy grain, to be food for thy Oivim, thy enemies, and the B'nai uh, Nechar, the, the, the foreigners, shall not drink thy Terosh, for the which thou hast toiled. But they that have harvested shall eat it and praise Hashem. And they that have gathered it in shall drink, shall drink it in the Hatzarot, in the courtyards of my Kodesh, my holy place. Pass through, pass through the Shearim, the gates. Prepare ye the Derek Ha'am. Build up, build up the Mesila, the highway. Gather out the Evan, the stones. Lift up a nest, a banner over Ha'amim, the nations. Hine, Hashem hath proclaimed unto the Ketzev Ha'aretz, the end of the earth. Say ye to the Bat Zion, to the daughter of Zion, Hine, thy, thy salvation cometh. Hine, thy salvation cometh. Hine, thy sahar, thy reward is with him. I'm sorry, his reward, his sahar is with him. And his recompense 
before him. And they shall call them the Am HaKodesh, the Gele, the Gele Hashem, the redeemed of Hashem. And thou shalt be called the Rusha, what the one being sought. Ir lo Nezavah, the city not deserted. So you see, it is deserted tonight. But we're going to cry out to God until it's not deserted, until there are Messianic Jews on every street corner, on in every uh, in every uh, meeting place, in every restaurant, in every hotel, until the gospel is preached everywhere in Jerusalem. Lord, I thank you for the Orthodox Jewish Bible and for Artists for Israel International, whose mission has to do with biblical Judaism. I ask you, Lord, to remove the veil over the eyes that they can see Haderic the way the Brit Hadashah sees it, as a sect of Judaism. A sect of Judaism that has its, its mission. Every person on the planet and that the United Bible Societies, of which Artists for Israel International is one, is getting this holy book in all the languages of the world so that every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. The Ribi Melech HaMoshiach of Biblical Judaism, the, the, the Ben Dovid, the Bar Enosh, the Zun Funderoi Vishter, we give him all the praise. There's no other name under heaven whereby we must be saved. Pray this with me. Moshek ben Dovid, come into my heart, forgive my sins, take control of my life. Open my eyes that I might that I might see wondrous things in your word. And help me, Lord, and have mercy on Israel tonight. And may we all be praying Isaiah 6, chapter 62. And we'll give you all the praise. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.